please put your hands together for uh, my colleague, Tyrin Taylor. Yeah. Uh, Project Jedi at Mind Valley. And, uh, he's going to hack your brain, right? He's going to hack your hack, yeah. hack, hack our brain. Yeah. Lovely picture. You're, you're welcome. I promise I didn't eat the bunny. <laughs> I've ruined. Sure you Wonderful. did. No. Oh. Okay, here you go. You know how to use that, right? So, can Josh then use it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is Darren, and I'll just give you a little bit of the background, and I'll tell my story. So, I actually work here at Mind Valley, and I'm just a Project Jedi. Choose my job title. So, my biggest passions are creating awesome stuff that adds value to people's lives. Other, in other words, entrepreneurship and also meditation. So that is the premise of this talk and what I'm going to do to start off is just tell you a little bit about the background, where I've come from and why I've accumulated this vision for the future of entrepreneurship and hacking your mind. So let's start a meditation. So really my story is all that I can start with. I can only speak for myself and my personal experience. Every single person here has a unique personal experience. All I can do is talk about mine and how I think or believe if you also apply these things, you might have a similar experience. So, everything started, I'm 23 right now, and on my 18th birthday, I saw The Secret. Has anyone here seen The Secret or heard about it or know anything about the law of attraction? Just raise your hand so I can get a, a gauge of what the knowledge is here. Okay, so about half of you. Awesome. The secret was, it was literally my birthday, July 15th, and I watched the movie with like my jaws open, like, holy crap. I've been wondering about this, like all these questions that I had accumulated. I asked my physics teacher like what the meaning of life was, and he's like, not the right guy for that. <laughs> so I was very uh, curious and introspective, even at a young age, and this really uh, pretty much was the explosion of my mind. Until this, the autobiography of Yogi. So has anyone heard of this book or of this uh, Indian guy named Paramahansa Yogananda? Yes, a lot fewer people. So this book pretty much completely transformed my life. It's shaped me in every single way of who I am in this day, standing in front of me. Um, basically, he talks about meditation, and he's the one who introduced the concept of meditation into my life, and why I would want to meditate, and a lot of great stories. And just so that you can be even more curious about this book, and how it's shaped other people's lives, Steve Jobs had one book on his iPad. It was the Autobiography of Yogi. Inside of his, uh, the biography that was written about Steve Jobs, noted that he read this book every single year for decades. So maybe that'll kind of spark some interest in, uh, in how Steve Jobs has shaped his own life. And you kind of see the success and the legacy that he's left behind. So what this did back in when I was 18, 19, I learned about meditation. I signed up for the lessons for, to learn about uh, how to meditate. And I've been meditating near daily daily, sometimes twice daily, for the past four or five years. Every single day, I've been extremely good about it. So some of the profound effects in my life have been um, basically epic concentration and focus. Uh, meditation is all about strengthening the focus, which I'll talk about a little bit more about later. Uh, basically, peaceful attitude, never angry, ever. I mean, you can ask anyone in the office, I'm just like one of the chillest guys here and you know, I like it that way. Um, I have a super strong sense of purpose. I know who I am, I know where I'm going, I know what I want, and I'm completely confident in that. And I love it. I learn things a lot faster. I can pick up I can just pick up stuff. How do I get here at Mind Valley? I learned Python in a month and build a website. Okay? An awesome website. <laughs> I, I wish I could show you guys that it's not hosted up anymore. It was pretty cool. It was, yeah, it was, it was fun. I'm smart. I'm not bloating, I'm just saying that 
I feel like my marks in college were easily applicable to my daily practice of meditation. I barely studied and I breezed through my tests. It was just like, it's, it's whatever. And whenever people like come up to me and bring me drama and shit, I'm just like, what? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Okay? Don't bring your drama. It's not going to touch me. Cause so I've created this like this piece within me. Um, and I kind of want to share with you why this will help your startup and your entrepreneurship. So during this whole process, um, I kind of bring. All right, I kind of realized through these years that I was a uh, a creator. So I manifested. I, I studied abroad in India and manifested this for free. I got like a scholarship. It was awesome. A uh, perfect job during college. I worked at a computer desk, so I sat at a computer all day long. <laughs> Barely had to do anything like uh, green lines for a lot. So this just cool stuff. And then it really dawned on me when I manifested Mind Valley. Okay, I literally used all these techniques of law of attraction, meditation, mindfulness, and all of this to visualize this experience and to create it here and now. This was back in February, January, March. And it, like I'm talking from my personal experience, but I used and implemented these techniques going from just landing on Mind Valley's webpage to standing here in front of you deliberately. So I learned that I was the creator of my own experience and that I had a choice. And I, my message to you as entrepreneurs, as movers and shakers of the world, is that you can also be super deliberate, effective creators on this, in this world. So that's also why entrepreneurs need meditation the most. So that's my, um, the argument that I want to make here with you today. How much time do I have? Six minutes? Nine minutes? Thank you. Thank you. So I want to share meditation as my passion so that we can consciously create a brighter future. I firmly believe that those who will change the world in these trying times are entrepreneurs and people who can look at the status quo and say it's not working and then change it. And that's what a lot of people here are doing. That's what a lot of people here at Mind Valley are doing. I've attracted myself to the perfect place to spread this message and to hope that other people will see what I'm saying and agree with it and join me in helping to improve the world. So I'm kind of introducing two kind of concepts here with my backstory and what I think that everyone can benefit from here. Sorry. There we'll go back. Meditation plus the law of attraction. Okay, these two things. Separate things. Meditation plus the law of attraction equals success. Okay, that's the formula. How is this? All right, this is how. No, this is just to chill your brain. Just take a second and appreciate the cuteness of this bunny. Awesome. All right, so in meditation, what we do is we watch the breath. So I'm just going to run through like meditation 101 and why uh, it will lead up to your eventual uber success in entrepreneurship. So what we do is we watch the breath. So I sit silent, sit in silence and watch the breath. And by continuously watching and then pulling my attention back every single time I get distracted, I'm strengthening like a muscle, like every single rep on uh, doing dumbbells or weightlifting. Every single time, twice daily for five years, like 30 to 40 minutes of meditation each session, doing this, you can only imagine the strength that is created and the focus and the intent. Strength and focus. Perfect. I skipped this slide. So what we do with this focus that we've created, we cultivate mindfulness. And what mindfulness is, is the constant awareness of being here in the present. Right here, right now, in the present. If you're thinking, you're not in the present. If you're thinking about something else, if you're thinking about when this thing, when this talk is going to end, if you're thinking about anything else, then you're not in the present. But if you are here, now, listening to these words, 
This is the present. So, mindfulness is about learning to stay here more often. Strengthening my focus every single time while I sit in meditation, I practice. I bring it forth into the day, into my daily life, to cultivate, or to act and be in a state of mindfulness. So, what we're going to do here is take a few minutes, and I'm going to give you a technique. So we are all going to practice meditation right here, right now. It's very simple, so I'd like everyone to close your eyes. If you're standing up, you can do it, no problems. I just need everyone to close your eyes, and I'm also going to close my eyes so that I can't see who's not doing this. <laughs> and if you're not doing it, then that's fine, that's cool, because zero fucks were given. <laughs> okay. So, just close your eyes, feel your body, feel your breath interacting with your body. Perhaps you can feel your lungs rising and falling in your chest, or you can feel the air coming in and out of your throat, the coolness of your in-breath, the warmth of your out-breath. So you can feel the breath, and what I want you to do is visualize yourself sitting on a rock in the middle of a gentle flowing stream. In this stream, everything floats away. You're sitting on the rock, you're focusing on your breath, and every time a thought comes to you, you turn that thought into a leaf. A leaf that gently floats down onto the river and floats away. Every time you're distracted, you have a thought or anything, you transform it into a leaf and let it float away. So just do that now for a few seconds. Watching your breath. Let the distractions float away. And you may open your eyes, look back at me. In this moment, feel the now. This is mindfulness. So I'm going to quickly tell you about Law of Attraction 101. I can't give you the entire gamut of five years of personal experience that I've had employing the Law of Attraction to deliberately create my life experience. I can't. What I can tell you is in a startup, we can use mindfulness to bring ourselves back to the present moment and use our emotional guidance system. This is not a term that I've coined whatsoever. I got it from a book, which I will mention at the end for your further reading. But the emotional guidance system is your emotions. You have two emotions, fundamentally, positive and negative. In the present moment, if you're having a negative emotion, what you are doing or thinking or saying in that moment will not bring you what you intend or want. If you say you want to create a startup, you want to change the world, you want to uh, follow your passions and take the risk, you get really excited about that, that's something that's telling you right in the moment, your emotions are telling you that that is in alignment with what you want, and you're in alignment to creating that, literally manifesting it into the world. If you are saying, I can't do it, I don't feel good about it, I just you feel icky, and it's like doubting yourself, self-hatred, self-doubt, it's like, I can't do it. In the moment, given what you've intended for the future, 
if you're feeling a negative emotion, in that moment, whatever you're thinking, doing, or saying will not take you where you want to go. So I hope you guys understand that. You can ask me questions more about it later, and there's a ton more to read about it. So when we use meditation to cultivate mindfulness, we can more fully utilize the law of attraction to create exactly what we want, to create companies that matter, to create things that add value to people's lives and change the world. That's what wakes me up in the morning. That's why I come to work every single day here at Mind Valley, the perfect place for me to do that. Um, I'm running out of time, so these are just some of the benefits. Um, the benefits are vast. You can Google the benefits of meditation. Scientifically proven, hundreds of years people have been doing this. Buddha was here 3,500 years ago. Okay, meditation's gonna stick around. So it's, it's truly the evolution of the human mind and the ability to create and make change in the world. So further reading, uh, Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. He's an extremely famous, best-selling author. Um, the Autobiography of Yogi, which is Job's only book on his iPad. And the Law of Attraction, he's, it's an easy name, by Esther Hicks. You can come and ask me about these if you want, no problem. And if you are interested, and if you want to hear more about this in the future, you can go to startupmeditation.com. It's just a landing page. I don't know if people are interested or not. Okay, so. If you are interested in it, go there, check it out. There's nothing there, but... Okay, there's nothing there, but... It's a, it's a launch rock page, okay? I gotta support my other startups here. Cool. I made this in life. So, and this is my Facebook. This is my personal Facebook, okay? Personal, you can add me as a friend, and you can uh, ask me any questions through messaging. Awesome stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for Terry.